I'm Creek Wilson. I play the Trapper. It's called Bastards Crossing. And it's a western, well, a kind of a dark, dense western. And this is the star. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Well, my name is Ward Emling in the film Bastards Crossing. And I play the guy that owns the crossing. Who, who in effect, has the bastard son who inherits it. I'm Bill Luckett, and I'm a, an actor in the film. I play the burly man in that particular movie, Bastards Crossing. Such a wonderful film, I think. Besides the physical characters, the people in it, the the locations are is a big character. So tell us a little bit about where you filmed it and uh, where did you decide to film it? Ah, well, the film, uh, it was filmed just outside of Brookhaven, just north of Brookhaven, in an old way station that was Pony Express, Wells Fargo, essentially what it was. Uh, um, it was all overgrown like crazy, and the um, uh, and the director found it, um, and uh, they gutted it. I mean, they took all the hay it was been used for so many things over the years, and so they made it usable as this as this crossing, as this uh, trade trading post, uh, and um, and that's essentially the location. There are a few woods locations that he knows where the bear are and uh, um, and uh, but it was all shot within a quarter of a mile of that main location so which is um, the trading post the bastards crossing Talcott's crossing for most of the movie um, and um, so there you go which is a trading post that I won my character won in a poker game in Fort Smith Arkansas back in the 1870s and uh, and it's in the middle of nowhere so Awesome. So how did you become attached? How did each of you become attached to this project? You. Actually, Travis Mills and uh, Joe Peavy, the writer, Travis Mills, the, the director, they kind of wrote that part with me in mind. And because I'm kind of a character anyways, and my name's Creek, and I got this wild eye, and... I was very fortunate to be a part of it with these folks. Go ahead. I'd been uh, in another one of uh, Travis Mills' films earlier and had been offered some parts and some others, and this is one that he offered me, and I liked it. It was out of my normal character of playing a senator, a doctor, a lawyer, a judge, or whatever, and this is this burly man guy who's pretty rough and tumble and uh, ends up getting crushed by a wagon during the movie. Did you enjoy getting out of, you know, you usually play a politician? I, did you I did. This? I'm looking forward to something else that's way out of what I normally do too. I, I kind of like the, adapting to different parts and that'll, that'll be a lot of fun when I get another one just as kind of burly as this one. It huh. did a great job. Yeah. And um, I I ran the Mississippi Film Office forever th three decades and I uh, retired but I knew Travis from when he was first starting to make films in Mississippi and uh, so I'd read his scripts and you know I'd read the scripts he wasn't thinking of me they thought of him and they thought of him and, and then you know it, it I get a, I get a kind of a text out of nowhere. I say, would you be interested in playing Cam Talca? And it's like, well, let me think about it. And it's like, yeah, sure. So uh, that's really how that came to be. And um, so it's great. How exciting was it to make a Western? Because there's not a lot of Westerns out there. They come out once every five or six years. But how exciting was it to really do a down and dirty Western? Well, you know, it, it was a little weird when 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 Travis Mills, the director, said, "Well, I'm going to do 12 westerns in 12 months." One, it was you're going to do 12 feature films in 12 months. Yeah, right. But then all of them are going to be westerns, or at least themed as westerns. And, uh, and it's like, all right, kind of cool. I mean, I, I none of us. Well, you got to ride a horse. Yes. I didn't get to ride a horse. I just had to lead him around. I trained to drive a mule train. I knew what he and me and y'all and all those words were, but it was so muddy down there that uh, we had to cut a lot of that kind of action out because driving through that mud hole was rough, so we just sort of faked that. But it was fun to do the Western because it's funny because we he announced this two years ago. Yes. Yeah. And all of a sudden, everybody's doing Westerns. There are Westerns everywhere. It's like, because I'd send them, I'd be sending them emails for, you know, from this news source and that news source and say, look, 
everybody's jumping on the bandwagon now. So, so Ward, you used to be the film commissioner for the state yeah. of Mississippi. Yeah. We're based out of Dallas, Texas. So uh-huh. tell tell our audience why they should come to Mississippi to film their film. Well, the actors. Uh, the, 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 there's a ex, uh, there is a great rebate. The, the incentive program is very strong, and um, you know, and, and that's the main driving force. That's the main driving force between production these days. But the locations in Mississippi have always, always been superb, and the people of Mississippi love the film industry. And you can take a twenty thousand dollar film somewhere, or a twenty million dollar film, and they don't make a distinction one to the other it's they want films in their communities and and in in the 30 years that i did that the 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 time that i really sound like a politician is when i'm talking about the people in mississippi and how much they support what we all do and that they never let us down um and uh, uh but there you go and it's such a rich it's such a rich it's such a rich state of stories that um you know, it's it's just a great place for storytellers because it has inspired some of the greatest stories ever written by an American. So, what are the top two or three unique locations that are in the state of Mississippi that you can't find anywhere else? Oh, Clarksdale, uh, yes. where he is. Well, the Mississippi Delta is very, very unique, and I know this sounds weird, but the water locations on the Mississippi Gulf Coast are astounding. I mean, it's because not just the coast, not just 26 miles of beach. It is, you've got barrier islands, and then you've got pristine rivers, a, a half a dozen of them that are, I mean, we've scouted them as the Amazon. We've scouted them as, as, as the world's rivers over the years. But, the you know, it sounds funny to say this about the coast, but the water locations on the coast are so incredible. And so the Delta, incredibly unique. And and the Gulf Coast. And you cannot forget the Natchez Trace. Uh, yeah. The whole stretch going through Mississippi, the Natchez Trace is excellent locations everywhere. Yeah. And you know, now that I'm not the film commissioner, I can just narrow it down to those two locations. If I were the film commissioner, I'd have to say, and then there's Tupelo, and then there's Laurel, and then there's Jackson. So. You know, speaking of that, you know, you left the film office. What is it like sitting on, you know, sitting in your house and watching some something like the uh, home improvement show that's filmed in southern Mississippi. What does that do to you? I mean, are you proud of what you've done and what where the state is going? Should be. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, we, we, I was very lucky to be a film commissioner in one place for so long because that doesn't happen anywhere on the planet. And, um, and to be able to survive a lot of administrations and be able to focus on the long term of an industry and, uh, and to respond to it as it grew uh, and, and to see talent built and, um, and to know that we did, as we, we focused on Mississippi. But, but what we always knew in our office, Nina Parikh, who's now the director, was my deputy director for and 19 years. she's so years. wonderful yeah. what she does. But we both started on films that had come to Mississippi. In 1973, a movie came to Natchez, Mississippi, and I worked on it. And that's where it be- where I thought, where I realized that this life in this place was possible. And so we knew that whenever we got a movie to Mississippi, that somebody was going to s- realize something that they had never thought possible before. So that's a big, it's a big incentive to get out of bed every morning and go to the office.